Out of the entire world's internet population, human beings account for only 38%. The rest and major chunk of internet traffic are either bots or algorithms. Humans or sentience, tech news anyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Exhibit's latest tech series, Tech This Week, where we talk about all the big tech news that broke on the internet in the last week. This week too, we have a lot to discuss, be it Elon Musk's Tesla robot or the EU finally putting an end to Apple's Thunderbolt port. So without further ado, let's jump in. The Tesla robot, Optimus Prime. Nah, nah. Tesla CEO Elon Musk showcases much touted human robot Optimus at their AI event. The villain claims that the robot business will be much more valuable than its car business, hoping to expand beyond self-driving vehicles that are yet to become a reality in most countries. A prototype of the robot walked on stage, waved at the seated audience, and a video of the robot carrying a box, watering plants, and moving metal bars in the automaker's factory was shown during the event. EVGA and NVIDIA breakup. Following another series of breakups, EVGA, one of the most prominent third-party PC graphic card manufacturer and a favorite brand among many PC gamers for quality parts and reliable warranties backed by solid customer service, is terminating a long-time relationship with NVIDIA. What's more, the company reportedly said that it won't be pursuing any exclusive partnerships with competing silicon giants like AMD, Intel or anybody else either. What else is EVGA cooking, huh? NVIDIA RTX 4000 series launched. Now, NVIDIA has announced its newer generation of graphic cards, the RTX 4000 series, including a kidney worth 1.55 lakh rupee flagship RTX 4090 and a slightly more affordable 4080. In addition to increasing the number of cores, processors, shaders, and requisite jump in performance seen in today's games, NVIDIA is pushing its new Ada Lovelace architecture. This architecture has special processes that improves image quality like ray tracing for light and deep learning super sampling, a complicated frame generation technique that increases frame rates and visual fidelity. NVIDIA promises that the flagship RTX 4090 can outperform two times as much as its predecessor and the 4080 will be almost three times as faster than its predecessor. They've also introduced DLSS 3, bringing major improvements to ray tracing and almost twice as many gains with the newer software algorithms. Intel enters the GPU race. Anyone building a PC in the near future knows how expensive it is. 4K is mainstream in televisions, yet 1440p is the standard for most monitor choices. Not everyone needs 4K gaming prowess, as some are very happy with 1080p or 1440p gaming. That's where Intel steps in with the newest graphic card launches. After a long delayed launch, Intel announced that the flagship Arc A770 desktop GPU will arrive in October 12th for an MSRP of $329. With Intel aiming for more budget-focused gamers, even its most powerful card is only fitted against the RTX 3060 or the AMD RX 6600 XT. If you don't know, CD Projekt Red is the maker of popular gaming franchises like the Witcher series and the Cyberpunk 2077 series. As a part of its strategic presentation, CD Projekt Red has announced that it will have multiple new games in development. Although details are slim, the company did announce that a sequel of 2020's super hit Cyberpunk 2077 is in development under the codename Project Orion and will prove the full power and potential of the cyberpunk universe when it is released. Additionally, a number of new games set in the Witcher universe are also in various stages of development. These are all being developed under various code names as well and include the Project Sirius, Project Polaris, Project Canis Majoris. Beyond its two well-known franchises, CD Projekt Red is also working on a new standalone IP codenamed Project Hader. The Redmi Pad Redmi Pad is the first budget tablet under Redmi branding in this country and comes months after Xiaomi introduced the Xiaomi Pad 5. The Redmi Pad comes with large 10.61-inch display with relatively narrow bezels around the screen and a single camera sensor on the rear. It has a metal unibody design, dual microphones for noise reduction, Dolby Atmos and quad speakers. Customers purchasing the Redmi Pad will also get two months of free YouTube premium subscription. Redmi Pad specifications include the 10.61-inch 2K display with 90Hz adaptive refresh rate, MediaTek Helios G99 SoC, Android 12 OS with MIUI 13 for tablet, 
and a large 8000 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charge support. There's also dual 8 megapixel sensors, one up front and one at its rear. EU Type C mandate. The European Parliament has voted in favour of making USB Type-C the standard charging port for devices across various categories, including smartphones, tablets, cameras and more. While many OEMs have already transitioned to the USB Type-C phenomena, Apple still offers its proprietary lightning connector on iPhones, AirPods and other accessories. In a press release, the European Parliament states that all mobile phones, tablets and cameras sold in EU will have to be equipped with USB Type-C charging port by the end of the year 2024. The new requirements also extend to cover laptops by spring 2026. This puts Apple in a tough spot and is yet to be seen if the company abides by the law or removes a charging port altogether to switch to completely wireless charging. Google Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro and other devices launched. After a long wait, Google has finally announced the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro devices in India. The company had skipped the previous generations of flagship devices for India and it's only about time that they show up in the Indian market. With Google's flagship features, the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro are all set to make a splash. Stay tuned for Exhibit's review on the latest Google Pixel 7 devices. Fitbit by Google launched three new wearables and Google brings the best of Samsung and Fitbit partnership in their newest product, the Pixel Watch. Embargoes limit us for now, but stay tuned for a full review as time progresses. That concludes this week's news updates. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you dislike it, don't do anything. Share this with everybody who's interested in latest tech news and follow us for more such amazing news.